Greetings, Raider Nation. This week, we're taking on the University of Texas El Paso Minors. Now, I neglected to mention in my post-game video against Central Arkansas that we lost one of those junior transfer defensive linemen that Cliff bought in, Wicked Levy. Now, luckily the injury is not all too serious, but odds are he's not going to be starting this game, which is a bummer too because we need all the hope we can get on our defensive line for at the last week's embarrassing showing against Central Arkansas. I hate to see what UTEP can do to us if we make the same exact mistakes because UTEP is a better team than uh, Central Arkansas when it comes to the one. Last week against New Mexico they got about uh, 330 yards rushing. Now. I know that was against New Mexico, but still, that's an impressive amount of yards through the ground, and especially by their primary running back, Aaron Jones, who is just um, a monster. And if we have any hope of winning this game, we need to contain him. Because if they start pulling the same exact stuff that Central Arkansas did to us, and it's going to be a longer night than it already is. And also, we probably should also watch out for the other one back. Nathan Jeffrey, who got about 100 yards against Mexico as well. I mean, so they have one really great back and one good back to them. The key to this game is just trying to get them to go through the air. Try to contain the backs and force them to throw the ball. For they're not really a throwing team. They don't have the um, best passing game out though, but they do have quite a number of talents out though, especially um, Jared Shaw, I believe his name is, who is the most dangerous and favorite target when it comes to passing. So if we do get them to start passing the ball, that's the guy we need to cover. I mean, yes, UTEP is not a good team, comparatively, and they're all in the off field too, they're no more than normally at, because in the past few years they've been going like 2-10 and 3-9, and, and nine, when they're normally like around a 6 win team, but still, this is not a team to take lightly, especially in, in the home stadium, which can get pretty um, nuts. But, they do have an interesting defense, I'll give them that much. In particular, is their secondary, which is for veterans and is their most dangerous aspect to their defense. So, hopefully with our um, new running back with Deontay Washington and the gang, we can win the ball some and bring all those guys up close so we can air it out some because throwing against their secondary is going to be a bit challenging, I say. Well, I'll be it. Mexico did not do so with the deal. I'm. I bet it would do a lot better as well. Tech, but still, we need to just play as safe as we can, or otherwise we may throw some passes where we may regret, which has happened in the past. Now, what else is there? What else do we need to make sure we don't do in this game? Hmm. Oh, yeah. How about no more dumb penalties? Don't get over 100 yards in penalties. Because that is... No. That is inexcusable. Alright? I don't want to see that many penalties in this game. And I'm sure no one does. I mean... I would love to see us come to this game and play perfectly and get no penalties, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think anyone thinks that's going to happen. I mean, I would like for us at the very most, the most, get 50 yards. Yeah, that sounds like a lot, but compared to what we got last week, I mean, 
and just, we really need to work on those penalties. We don't need to make these mistakes at all. And we make them heal again. It's gonna be interesting to see how we can get out of it because UTEP is a team that can really take advantage of those mistakes. And because we've got them, because they are a tenacious bunch. They go at it constantly. So, it's going to be interesting to see how our offense responds to the secondary, how our defensive line responds to their um, O line, and their dangerous running back in Aaron Jones, and how we stay disciplined on the field because if we start giving up dumb penalties and start putting us in a hole and start giving them throwdowns, Rest assured, we most likely won't come out with a win in this one. Let's hope that Cliff and the Bunch work really damn hard this week to fix those problems. Now, I think this game's not going to be too high scoring at all. I think it's going to be a not low but not high kind of scoring game for us. But my final score for the game is going to be about, let's say, 38 tech and uh, 17 UTEP. Until after the game, Raider Nation. Guns up, Raider Pal, and Reckham Tech.